I'm speaking to Assembly Speaker Barbara Buckley. And uh, what happens next after today with the uh, economic forum numbers coming out? Well, the legislature and the governor now knows exactly how much revenue we need to utilize in preparing the upcoming budget. I understand the governor will be submitting amendments which will have uh, further salary cuts and cuts no. to K through 12 and higher education. The legislature is going to continue our work, which is examining every budget and making sure that we present a balanced budget that doesn't destroy education in our state. That's going to be our goal. And uh, does, uh, what will happen to higher ed, I mean, after today? Well, you know, the governor's proposing a 50% cut to UNR, a 50% cut to UNLV, and 36% cuts to the community college and the system as a whole. And we just find that really shocking. I mean, you might as well just close down UNR and UNLV if you're going to cut half of their funding. They'll be a, a, a shadow of their former self. And that's just not fair for our children and for our continued economic growth. We're going to turn around as a state, and we need highly qualified graduates living here. So we're going to do our best to, pre to present an alternative. We're meeting with the business community on options and what they think we should do. We need to pull together as Nevadans. We can do better. And uh, my last question, I guess, um, is what can people do? I mean, what can you do? What can I mean, what can other legislators do? What can people do who you know see these numbers today? And, now know what, to, what, what we're dealing with. Well, um, people around the state should contact the governor. The governor has announced that he's going to tour the state and tell everyone why these cuts make sense for our state. I would encourage people who believe the governor's wrong to show up to each one of these events, to contact the governor, and to urge their legislators to do the right thing by, for, by our college students and really for the state's future. That's right. And if there's anything else you want to say before we uh, close the interview? Well, you know, these are, um, these are tough economic times. I mean, no one could have envisioned two years ago that our revenue would be down 44%. In Nevada's businesses are hurting. But, you know, it's, we need to make the most out of this opportunity. We need to reform the way we're doing business. We need to pull together. We are Nevadans, and we can come up with better options than the governor's proposing. Thanks very much, and uh, how are we going? Okay, thank you.